Hi again and welcome to another Mage Tower Guide. This time we're going to be talking about the Guardian Druid. So first let's start off with our consumables. First we're going to need Agility Flasks, Bear Tartar as our food, Potions of Prolonged Power, and Drums of Fury or Drums of the Mountain. And if you want to use a Augment Rune, you are more than welcome to do that as well. I did not. So these are the talents that are going to be the best for you, minus Wild Charge. Don't use Wild Charge, use Guttural Roar. You might be tempted to use Wild Charge, um, but having Stampeding Roar on a one minute cooldown, even though it's mostly going to be affecting just yourself, is going to be a lifesaver being able to have that up more often. You might be able to say that Brambles might be better in some situations, but not for this one. It just doesn't do nearly enough damage. I've seen people do it with it, but it just doesn't do enough damage to really justify the Rage loss over Blood Fury. Um, you see that I have the Legendary Ring. Even if I didn't have that, I'd be choosing Galactic Guardian. I just want to make that clear. It is by far the best talent. Soul of the Forest does give you more damage, but with the amount of time you're spending at ranged, it's just not as good as Galactic Guardian at all. So I'm just going to run through some of the abilities on this fight you're going to need to look out for. You're going to want to make sure that you're able to survive Mindrin. You're going to want to interrupt Drain Life. You're going to want to make sure that you're looking back at the Inquisitive Eyes when they're casting Inquisitive Stare. The only thing that can kill these eyes as a Guardian Druid is Moonfire. Very important. Otherwise, they're going to be immune to all other kind of damage. Make sure you're dodging the smashes from the Infernals. Make sure you're killing the Nether Horrors before they can cast and channel Nether Storm. That this will just shred through you, and if you let them get on Velen, they'll kill him in, I think it's like less than two seconds? It's around a second to two seconds. Then once we get to High Lord Cruel himself, make sure you're using your active mitigation as well as damage reduction to survive the Annihilates. Make sure that you're interrupting Twisted Reflection. If this cast goes off, if Twisted Reflection goes off, you you might as well just jump off the edge because every time he hits you, if he, ca if he manages to cast this, every time he hits you, he will regain 5% health and it can get way higher than where you started. So if this goes off, you might as well just start over. And then very lastly, get out of the green shit it will kill you super fast, as well as it puts a slow on you, which is basically like teeing up a golf ball when you're combining that with the smashes from the Infernals. Okay, so onto the fight. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run in and pop my artifact ability and just start doing as much damage as I can. I'm going to prioritize getting my thrash stacks all the way up and keeping Moonfire on Varus at all times. In this phase, Make sure you're using Maul as much as you can and don't even worry about using Iron Fur. Now your biggest ability that's going to help you out the most is getting used to using Intimidating Roar. I use it right there and that's a good way to kind of help get those stacks of the debuff to fall off you so you can get that to reset. Um, it allows you to stay in there and get a little bit more damage in without having to worry about your health. So make sure Intimidating Roar is on an easy to press button because it's up every 30 seconds and it will save you a lot of damage to recover from. And then what I'll be doing is just kind of running around the circle as I was in pretty much what you're going to be doing in all of the tank challenges is just running around this circle. You see I use it again to interrupt Drain Life just to give myself a little bit more time to get these adds together before I go and use the healing orb and interrupt everything. And then I'll just finish off these orbs. And now I'll just be going back in and getting back on Varus. And again, re-getting my thrash stacks back up. That's my main priority. And then just also dumping in as much damage as possible. So again, right there, you just saw me use uh, Intimidating Roar. It is by far the best ability in your arsenal when it comes to handling Mind Blast and uh, Drain Life in this phase. It's your only way to interrupt things at range and is, yeah, it's just super good. Make sure that you're, you're using it and you know where it is. So anyway, back to the fight. This should be the last time I, go ha I have to go back in on the boss. And I'm just going to try to get as much damage in. I'll head back out here because I was getting close and I didn't want to get too many stacks. You just always got to be aware of your stacks, but eventually the dots will tick him down and kill him. 
and here's Kroll. So this is where we're gonna pop Hero and our second potion and just try to do as much damage as we possibly can. Um, make sure, again, we're getting out of those nether stomps. Right there, it was just, I needed the heal extra badly. Health management is a huge deal in this phase. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your health up as much as you can. Another big thing is just keep moving. Keep moving at all times, dodge the smashes. Make sure you're getting out of the stomps. Gather up the adds when you can and just do as much damage. Another thing that I should have mentioned a little bit earlier is make sure, again, remember I was talking about we're using, we were using a Maul in the previous phase. We're not using it at all in this one. It is so much better to stay capped and not use Maul at all so we can actually save it for Iron Fur. Iron Fur is gonna be your primary way of reducing damage from Annihilate. Um, every time you see Annihilate about to be cast, use whatever rage you have to put into Iron Fur. And especially when the adds come up as well, you can kind of use it uh, just supplementing in to help reduce your damage a little bit more as they're still uh, wailing away at you. But the main reason we're gonna need Iron Fur is, uh, is for the Annihilates. And here we are almost done. We're gonna have one more set of ads and I'm gonna get really low here. Um, you'll see that I used my uh, Stampeding Roar. If I hadn't had that, I wouldn't have been able to get away. Again, why Guttural Roars is so good. I've got that last healing orb. I'm gonna have to deal with one more Annihilate, which interestingly enough, I actually did not get hit with. You can actually see up in the top left that the warrior person, I forgot his name, Corvos, I believe, actually got hit by it. That's actually possible. Whenever he casts Annihilate, he'll cast it on who is ever closest to him. So that can be Corvos or you. So he hit Corvos instead. If you looked at what cooldowns I had up, I would have sur I've survived it regardless. I was at 90% health. I had survival instincts and I believe I had two stacks of iron fur. I'd have to rewind the tape at this point, but I, I would have been fine regardless. But sometimes luck can help you out with that as well. And that's pretty much the fight. So in summary, just keep practicing the fight, keep, learn the fight, get used to it, and get used to being reactionary with your abilities. Unlike other bosses from raids and some dungeons, these bosses don't um, rely on a re rotation type system. These are on a cooldown system, which is why one attempt you might see Varus start off with five mind rins and a drain life, and then the next attempt might be two drain lives, or excuse me, two mind rins and a drain life, and then go from there. It's You can't prepare for it spell by spell knowing exactly what he's going to cast. You just have to react to it. So you might go in there and he might cast Drain Life right away and you interrupt it, you run out and you don't have to worry about it for a second. Or he might start casting Drain Life right as you're running out because you're about to take too many stacks. It's just something that you're going to have to adapt with each and every time you go in for an attempt on this. But just don't get frustrated, learn to adapt and handle it from there and eventually you'll get it. Um, thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you like it. Let me know what I can do better. I'm definitely looking on improving on my my delivery, on my video quality. Let me know what I can do to be, do better. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.